Today we're going to be doing an NVIDIA RTX voice test on a GTX 1080 graphics card. And I must say thanks to my good buddy Alex for steering me in this direction because although I knew about the NVIDIA RTX, I honestly hadn't given it a shot at all. So um, thanks to Alex, uh, he actually kind of pushed me into trying it out. And now I use it all the time. Anyway, let's, let's get into the test and see what you guys think about it. Today we're going to be doing a test of NVIDIA RTX Voice on a GTX 1080 graphics card. I have OBS up just so you guys can see the volume level. I have no noise gate set. RTX Voice is off. And this is the amount of background noise I'm getting through my microphone. Let's take a listen. As you can hear, there are lots of birds in the background. Now, I'm going to open up my software for my GoXLR mixer. I'm going to push the threshold up to about 35 where I usually have it. And this is how it sounds. As you can tell, it's a lot better if I stick wet for a second. Uh, let's look at the meter. Now, there is a significant drop in uh, background noise. Now, of course, for those of you who know about these things will realize that I don't have the attenuation all the way up. I'm only using 60%. Reason being, if I turn this up any higher, let's say 100%, it will take down even more background noise, but it will also make the microphone sound a little more unnatural. Right now, if I was to, let's say, uh, start seeing a sentence or start seeing a word, and I start very soft, you will still hear me like this. S smart. If I was to turn this up, you will hear the difference. As you can see, the, the noise gate actually does make it a lot quieter when I stay quiet. But the thing is, when I'm speaking, you're still hearing that noise be between the words. You're still hearing that noise in the background. And then you will hear my noise get shut off about a second or half a second after it's finished speak, like this. And here we go again. And here we go again. So as you can see, the noise gate does help a lot for background noise. Let me take this off so you can look at the meter. Let's look at the meter where the noise gets set at 100. Now, of course, it's pretty quiet uh, where the noise gets set at 100, but it's a lot more abrupt. I know as a, as it's a lot more of a, of a abrupt type of a attack. So what we're gonna, what I usually would do is keep this attenuation at 60. But like I said, you still usually get, uh, you know, while I'm actually speaking, you still hear other things in the background. Because while I'm speaking, the gate is still open. It's only shuts off when I stop speak, right? So. A noise gate is good, but it's not perfect. Now on the other hand, let's take a look at this. This is RTX voice. I'm going to stay quiet, look at the meter, and look at when I click this box. And it comes on. Look at it, what happens to the meter. Now this is RTX voice. Even while I speak, it is quiet. Even between the words, it is quiet. You cannot hear any opening of the gate and closing of the gate. It's literally just my voice. RTX voice takes everything that is not my voice away from the recording. This is simply remarkable. And this is not even on an RTX card. This is on a GTX 1080. Very, very impressive. Well, what do you think? Do you think it's worth uh, using for your YouTube videos or your live streams? Leave a comment below and let's keep the conversation going. And if you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon in order to be notified when we go live or upload new content. Well, until the next one, you guys be safe. I'll see you soon.